What's going on, everyone? Welcome to part seven of our Keyshot Essential series. My name's Kareem Merchant, and in this video, I'll be introducing you to Keyshot's cloud library and covering a few ways you can use it to your advantage. Keyshot comes with over 850 drag and drop materials preloaded in program, as well as a variety of textures, environments, colors, and basic geometry models. However, sometimes you just can't quite find what you're looking for, and that's where Keyshot's cloud library comes into play. The Cloud Library is a user-generated, Keyshot-moderated online resource library that can be accessed via the Cloud website at cloud.keyshot.com or by using the in-program library shortcut located on the far left of the bottom toolbar in your workspace. To open the library in-program, simply left-click on the Cloud Library icon and the library will open as a separate window in your workspace. Once open, you'll have access to an extended library of assets that include new materials, environments, backplate images, textures, and models. Keyshot's cloud library is constantly being updated with new resources, most of which are generated by users like yourself. So keep on the lookout and check back regularly for new assets to use. Now that we have the window open, let's talk about navigating the cloud library. Along the top of the window, you have tabs that allow you to access five different resource types. By clicking on any tab, a list will open below that shows a preview image of the resource, as well as information such as download count and likes. To the far right of the resource tabs, you will notice an account icon. This icon lets you toggle between light and dark themes, as well as allowing you to log in and out of your account. Just a little side note, being logged in is not required to download assets from the cloud library. Directly below the resource tabs, you'll find a search bar which can be used to narrow searches down using keywords that match your needs. To the immediate right of the search bar, you can filter resources by upload date as well as by Keyshot version compatibility. You can also use this dropdown to toggle the verified checkbox in order to only show Keyshot verified assets. Verified assets can be identified by the blue Keyshot banner located on the top left of the resource preview image. Next to the filter dropdown, you have an order by icon that allows you to change the order resources are listed. With the dropdown open, you can order by date, title, author, downloads, and size, as well as determine whether the resources will be displayed in ascending order or descending order. To the far right of the window, just under the accounts icon, you'll notice two icons that should be familiar from the library panel. These icons allow you to toggle between list and grid view depending on which view you find easier to navigate. Once you've set your navigation preferences and have found an asset you'd like to download, you can click on the preview image to open the assets information window. In this window, you'll get a brief description of what the resource is, the resource file size, its creation date, and the tags associated with it. There is also a function that allows you to report issues you may encounter related to the given asset. From here, you can download desired resources by selecting the download button or by dragging and dropping them into the library panel. Resources can also be applied directly into the real-time view, but will take a moment to appear as they are being downloaded. Whether you've chosen to download the asset for later use or drag and dropped it into your scene, the asset will now appear under the download folder of its corresponding tab in the library panel. This folder can be found at the very top of each tab's directory. At this point, I want to bring attention specifically to the Models tab. These models serve as an incredible resource for augmenting your projects and can help show context by adding them into the background. There's a variety of models such as plants and office supplies that have already had materials applied and can immediately increase how realistic and believable a scene appears. The models available are also a great way to quickly find assets to practice lighting setups and composition. Now that we know how to navigate and download resources from the cloud, I'd like to briefly cover uploading resources. As I mentioned earlier, most assets that are available for download were created and uploaded by users such as yourself. Although uploading assets is something that advanced users are more likely to do, I'd still like to set you up with the knowledge so that you too are ready to share your amazing Keyshot creations. For the sake of keeping things simple, I'm going to quickly show you how to save and upload custom materials. Other assets require slightly different steps to uploading, but understanding material uploads will give you the basic idea. Once you've become comfortable enough using Keyshot, you will inevitably start using the material graph to create customized materials. 
An amazing feature in Keyshot is the ability to save your custom materials so that you have access to them for later projects. And coincidentally, this is the first step to uploading your desired material. To save a new material, make sure the material is selected and the Material tab in the Project panel is open. At the top of the tab, you'll see a Name Input field with a floppy disk icon to the right. Go ahead and input the name of your new material and left-click the icon to save. Once you click the Save icon, a window will appear in your real-time view that will let you choose which material folder you would like to add the new material to. After your material is saved, simply locate the material in the assigned folder and select the Upload to Cloud Library icon at the bottom of the library panel. Note that unlike downloading, uploading does require you to be logged in. If you aren't already logged in, just type in your information into the window that appears. If you don't have an account, you can always create one by clicking the register button on the bottom right of the window. After logging in, you'll have access to the cloud library upload window where you'll be able to input a new name if desired, create a thoughtful description, and provide keyword tags to help others more easily find your new material. Once complete, hit next and your material will be sent for review to the Keyshot team. If you're curious about getting started with the material graph, definitely check out our Materials Advanced episode where Ryan Levy covers the many facets of material customization and creation inside Keyshot. Thanks for watching the seventh part of our Keyshot Essential series. In part eight, we'll be taking a look at how adding labels and textures to your models can help to increase the realism and believability of your scenes. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and share it with your friends.